Hi everybody, it's Lori Manns with QualityMediaConsultants.com where we help entrepreneurs who are looking to get more clients, more brand visibility, and create more revenue in their business to do so in less time. Well today I want to talk to you about corporate sponsorships. If you haven't considered them, you are probably leaving money on the table. So a lot of people think that corporate sponsors just want to partner with big time celebrities, nonprofit organizations, uh, national professional organizations, or even like high school football teams, etc. Well, I'm here to let you know that corporate sponsors also look for partnerships with small business owners and entrepreneurs and folks just like me and you. And the reason that they would want to partner with you is very similar to why they would want to partner with a big time celebrity. So think of it this way. There are people like Michael Jordan and Beyonce and Madonna who get uh, corporate sponsors to pay them for their influence and for their uh, target audience and their fan base. So the same reason why those celebrities would get corporate sponsors is the same reason why you or I would. All you have to do is demonstrate four key elements that the corporate sponsor is going to be looking for. And what are those elements? I'm going to share them with you right here today. So number one, you're going to need to be able to demonstrate that you have a targeted audience and that that audience is the same target audience that the corporate sponsor wants to reach. So is your target audience uh, proven, okay? Can you add up all of your um, followers and demonstrate that you have a quantity of numbers and a following of people who you have access to? You may have a direct mail list, you may have an e-zine list, you may have social media lists, you have all of those things combined that you can add up and demonstrate that you have a group of people who follow you and who you have access to. You may have these emails, you may have phone numbers, you may have addresses, whatever it is, you need to be able to demonstrate that you have quantity of people who follow you. Okay, that's number one. Number two, you need to be able to demonstrate that you have influence, just like the celebrity can demonstrate that they have influence and they can get people to react and respond. You've got to be able to do the same thing. You've got to demonstrate that you have engaged followers. And it just doesn't count that you may have 5,000 or 10,000 or even 20,000 Twitter followers or the same on Facebook. But can you put out a call to action and get people to respond? I'm not talking about you've got 5,000 people and you put out something and you can only get five or 10 people to respond. I'm talking about big numbers. Can you show that you have engaged followers, that you have people who really and truly will respond to whatever call to action that you put out? So do you have influence, okay? And can you prove it? That's number two. Number three is, are you willing and able to demonstrate a win-win long-term relationship for the corporate sponsor? They're not just looking for one-offs. And by that, I mean, they're not looking for a one-time shot or a one-time deal where you can pull off this grandiose uh, result or event one time and you can never repeat it. They are looking for partners who can give them long-term engagement and can deliver results that will benefit them. And they can come to you, for example, and say, hey, listen, we're trying to reach this audience. Can you help us? So they're looking for a long-term win-win relationship with you, okay? That's number three. And number four, and finally, of what the corporate sponsor is going to need and what you must demonstrate in order to partner with them to get them to write the check, is you've got to prove return on investment. This is all about your metrics. How are you going to demonstrate that you can deliver? What can you benefit? Uh, what can you show them as their return on investment for giving you this 
this money to sponsor your event, your marketing, your product, service, whatever it is that you have. You've got to demonstrate what the benefit is for them and what the return on their investment will be. So there you have it. Those are the four things that you must demonstrate, the key elements that a corporate sponsor would be looking for. And if you want to get some of that money off the table, you absolutely have got to have those four things. So if you like this video and it helped you, please tweet it make a comment, like it, and subscribe to this channel. I will be sharing more information for small business growth with you. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. You can follow us at qualitymediaconsultants.com. You can follow me, Lori Manns, at Miss Quality Media on Twitter. Thanks so much.